Greetings, Cancer, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, I hope you're doing well, and thank you all out there, Cancers, for uh, subscribing to my channel and to my new friends just viewing now. Uh, please uh, check it out and give me a thumbs up if you like the way I read. And let's jump right in, but before we do, I wanted to say um, this reading today is sponsored in an honor of the Boston Marathon Massacre and those who lost their life and limbs during that uh, massacre. Um, and uh, now there are runners coming to um, Boston today and tomorrow is the marathon. And so let's all send them out a big cheer for a safe and successful race. And the theme of your reading, Cancer, is a transformation. Well, yes, you're transforming some very important aspect of your uh, life, and it's going to energize you to reach up and to go for uh, your goals, go for and strive for what you really, truly want to manifest. And you're going to ask and receive uh, and bring those downloads down into your awareness so you can uh, release whatever is not helping with that transformation, but also to ask and receive what will. And let's jump in, and I invite you to bring your own question, a concern, a curiosity, cancer. So this, each card is a portal into your personal a predicament, and you can find uh, the precious a knowledge you need to know how to move through this change, this period of time where you're having to be flexible and balance and blend, um, maybe work here at two jobs or, or maybe have two relationships that are very uh, time consuming or that you've been um, needing to, uh, because we have this uh, transformation and ask and receive, maybe you're needing this change, you want a transformation. You're asking and wanting to receive a change, um, in a total change of reality, a total change of the situation you're in. You might be contemplating moving, but there is a tower coming and well, Change brings the tower, but the tower is um, when something out of our field of awareness just hits us blindsided. And whatever the structure of our life, our relationship, our, our body, um, our uh, career, our finances, uh, just comes crashing down out of the blue. Or because it wasn't built on a firm foundation, we're having to face that uh, the divine inspiration. We ask, and the divine gave us what we asked, and we received this change, this striking down of the old, a truth being revealed, a sudden illumination of, oh my God, this is what the change is happening. This is what the transformation is bringing. And it can be painful and stressful, that collapse. But at the foundation, you've got this um, queen of wands, of fire, of passion, of confidence, of self-acceptance and going after what she wants, man or woman. Um, but that feminine energy of, of not only going after, but going after in a way that you actually psychically know how to get what you want and receive uh, that vibrancy and to um, be <coughs> changing your energy level because the universe is in the recent past has closed out an old cycle and successfully and you're moving into a whole new world. You're closing out an old way of life to come into something totally different. You're moving from one status in your life to a whole new uh, different status. And that is coming, or you have already been dealing with this um, happiness around this change. Maybe you, you're joining in um, a partnership, getting married, uh, ending a career to retire, to move somewhere different. But there's a big closure here. And the tower, um, uh, <clears throat> is there because there has been something at the crown, some despair, some defeat, some betrayal, some feeling like you've been trying to get out of a trap, um, a mental trap of anxiety, of depression, of despair, 
and then suddenly uh, this change is coming because this tower, a relationship is crashing down, or your job, or something is leading you mentally to this feeling of that I can't go on, I don't know how to go on. Mentally, I'm at a loss because you closed something out recently, a whole old cycle, and that's leading to despair. Let's see why. Because you've had to have strength. Um, her turban is full of this fire. This is a, a card ruled by Leo, the lion, where you have the courage to face those inner drives, those angers, uh, those depressions, that um, envy, um, <clears throat> or just those um, drives that go after uh, building a lot of ambition and building these um, these towers, but they're not based on a true a foundation, based in the connection as um, so above, um, so below, and that it's only a material focus. And so it's something has to close out because of that, and you had to see um, this rock bottom situation where you had to be forced to call up to the heavens and say, uh, thy will be done. Or to ask, um, uh, you know, to be guided um, out of this uh, land of the unknown, of, of despair, Cancer. And you've been transforming through asking and receiving. And you're seeing yourself uh, as the page of swords needing to um, bring curiosity, meaning to be um, compassionately curious about what is uh, this crash, what this catastrophe means, to uh, get information, to really also have to maybe gossip about things, meaning talk to others, get information, get the facts, the details about this uh, despair, what happened, this end of something, this end of going over and over something in your mind even though you're using this strength now to tame that beast inside and to calibrate your energy. You have to have a time, this, this seems like this uh, page of swords is really um, honing in and meditating on the right use of your mind, the right use of knowledge of where to take this information. And the environment is, temperance is saying, uh, the, your environment and the people you're dealing with are asking for healing, asking for balance, asking for transformation, to uh, move this situation um, from one element where it was seen as, let's say, uh, not valuable, uh, to moving it and transforming it into a whole new world, like from lead and alchemy to gold, that process of transforming transforming our personality from a kind of lead, only materially oriented human being uh, to one that has this higher wisdom. And it's being struck down and brought to your awareness uh, by this lightning. And your healing in the environment. And <clears throat> your hope and fear is that this um, will bring sorrow, that there's something about this um, Despair is still connected to sorrow. Something happened that the higher powers want you to download. Uh, you know, that um, serenity prayer to change the things you can and uh, to uh, know the difference between what you can change and what you can't. And this is saying there's despair comes when whatever our actions, whatever our thoughts, they just hit the rock, uh, the rock bottom, hit the brick wall. And there's some sadness that is still lingering in your hope and fear as you're healing. The environment is healing this, changing and transmuting uh, this sorrow into um, seeing it for what it truly is, a learning experience, a way to heal, and to take that loss, whatever it was, a divorce, a severance, um, a broken relationship that meant a lot. And the advice is to use your intuition and be this queen of, of cups and sit there 
on that balustrade above the ocean of the unconscious and to be confident that uh, with that intuition and she's looking back to this despair can be healed, can be understood, and that intuition could be used uh, as a counselor, somebody to listen to you, a cancer. You could be going through a difficult emotional phase right now and you need um, a therapist uh, or just a good friend to really listen to you and you know it's trustworthy and that you can be at ease. And uh, that's what I have for you. Powerful a uh, cancer. So let's get some clarity why this change is coming for my cancer. What is it? You're learning to balance and be flexible with the ups and downs of life. But uh, yes, you need composure. Yes, because um, this change is coming and you need to be composed. Do a yoga. Really take time to get into a pose and really be in that position and to feel the solidity and your stability within your center. And self-acceptance comes after this tower. Well, that is why uh, it could be a blessing in disguise, a divine intervention, necessity, because whatever this was wasn't built on a firm foundation and had to change. And self-acceptance is coming after composure. You accept yourself. And you've got angelic protection to keep that vibrancy alive within you, your own be being, and being able to take leadership of your own passions, your own vitality. And you closed out a cycle recently with compassion. Something changed. Something came to an end. And you honored that and recognized that. And that led to this uh, coming to rock bottom, this hitting the bottom. And you have to have forgiveness and understanding of yourself and the other people involved and to heal this despair. And you're using strength and courage and uh, calibrating those energies of anger and of greed and of passion and of um, getting uh, feisty with others. You're modulating and using that wisely because you've got a guardian angel on your shoulder helping you to modulate that. And you're using your curiosity as you see this question of um, coming to change with ease and grace. And this is another card of a temperance. You see both of these cards, they're blending these elements of the two cups, taking from one area and giving to another, transforming and transmuting those energies. Um, and then inner child healing is uh, maybe the reason that there's um, temperance in your environment is someone that you're dealing with, very important, has to deal with this inner child healing. And that's what the alchemy is about, is whatever um, this despair from the past, uh, from childhood, uh, from a traumatic relationship with a parent perhaps, you're having forgiveness and understanding, and that's leading you and your environment to alchemize and heal uh, that wounded child uh, so you can heal that sorrow of the broken heart. And that will uh, lead to romance and connection. You're moving to um, from that broken heart, that severed relationship, you're finding new romance and connection. And you're going to use your intuition uh, to take a step back right now from perhaps everything and just to be with your intuition, to be in your own beauty and your own connection to your deep feelings right now and to take a bit, step back from romance and connection and this uh, something that was broken in a romantic connection. You need to step back from that and to heal those feelings. And that is what I have for my cancer. And let's jump in and get one final card from the Water Oracle as a gift for you to take um, with you as you reflect on this reading for my cancer. And this is the Water Oracle for my water sign. The Water Carrier. Wow, well, you're at a phase right now. Look at those hands carrying this beautiful bounty of water. And 
What really matters is the question cancer you need to ask right now as you're taking a step back and using your intuition. Um, what really matters in this romance and connection? Reflect and reprioritize. And that's what I have for my cancer. And if you like the way I read, please uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And uh, you know I love you and we're in this interconnected field and we're growing and learning to face uh, these difficult s feelings of sorrow and despair and, and courageously look at those with love and compassion and forgiveness and understanding. And if you need to take a step back, uh, do so because you're carrying this water and you're needing to reprioritize and see what really matters to you and your heart now. And that's what I have for you, Cancer. And see you next time. Bye-bye.